Hello friends, a uh, real quick video just to show you uh, what we've been working on and what just landed. Our brand new compiler landed in this pull request and uh, it has a new intermediate representation. It's a bona fide compiler that I think is a little bit more respectable than the old one. Uh, and it is faster. It is uh, on our Fibonacci code, which is a very recursive algorithm, uh, 1.5 times faster. And on our board slam code, which is a brute force algorithm for doing like a math game, uh, it's 1.3 times faster almost. Uh, so just amazing all around. It's easier to debug. It's faster. Uh, I just want to show you real quick sort of some of the differences. So so this is our old compiler. If I show you the um, Fibonacci code, uh, this is the C++ that's generated for Fibonacci. And uh, then I'll show you the new compiler's output. Okay, so this all fits on one screen with the new compiler and on the old compiler, you can see it does not. So a lot simpler C++ is being generated. Uh, and uh, I think the performance has really benefited from that. Um, you can see right here, the argument handling is much simpler. We're able to do stuff with the IR that I was never able to figure out with the old compiler. Um, for instance, we have one argument in Fibonacci, right? Fib. We have this one in argument. It's very simple in the new compiler. We just have an in var, it pulls it right out of the first uh, index of the arguments array. The old compiler, uh, yeah, I didn't know how to do that. Uh, so we pass it all in, all this information, because you could have default arguments, you could have keyword arguments, you could have destructuring arguments. And so we did all that in C++ at runtime. And so we had to pass all kinds of stuff into this arg value by path function. And let me tell you, that was hard to debug. But the new compiler knows, hey, this is so much simpler. Let me show you what it generates as a part of the pass one. Um, actually, let me show you something a little bit simpler. So if I have uh, def foo x, and we just return x, and I'll show you the inf uh, the internal representation for that, you can see it's pretty simple. We push self, we define a method, we check that there's exactly one argument for that, we push that first argument and we set it to X. And the C++ that that generates out to is pretty much what you would expect. Uh, we ensure that the arg count is one and then we set that argument to this X variable. Uh, it wasn't quite that easy with the old compiler. Um, we we didn't have the IR, so so generating the leanest and simplest possible code was so much harder. And so this has really opened up all kinds of doors and windows and <laughs> made it just so much better to work and hack on the compiler. So that's it, super short video. Uh, there are multiple passes, so if I do dash P4, um, you can see, actually you can see nothing changed, but if I had, let's see, if I had maybe a, um, the each break 99, if I had a break in here and I showed you the output, um, so I show you the difference between pass one and pass four. There's several passes in between, of course. You can see that different things are happening at different times. So right here we have this break, but down, but in, by the end of pass four, we have it with a break point and then some code to catch that break point and return the proper result. So having this IR to debug, I keep saying it, it's just amazingly better. And I wish I would have done it in the beginning, but I didn't know any better. So the old compiler is what I knew at the time. And uh, I've learned a lot since then. So that's it. Super short video. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to now go record another video about method caching. But first, I just wanted to show off all the hard work since January, many, many months of work uh, finally landed and the payoff is going to be huge. I hope that you uh, are excited about something that you are working on or that you're going to work on. And I hope that you will uh, just take that leap and make it happen. Do something amazing and it can start out very simple like I did and it can get better and better and better. So that's it. See you next time.